Hi, my name is Victor. I'm a solutions engineer with Windshadow, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of, uh, of one of our applications. Uh, what we're looking at here is a, uh, a transaction that what we call a round trip. It allows you to extract data from SAP, make changes to it, and then send it through Excel. This was created without any programming, and any business user can create this. So let me go ahead and go to the first part here. I'm going to go to Windshadow Query, which is going to pull data from SAP tables. I'm going to limit my sample to 25 records, okay? And I'm basically going to hit Run. So right now it's asking me to log into SAP, because obviously we own our SAP um, security. It's going to log me in, as you can see down here, right here, okay? It's going to ask me, okay, well, you want to see some data, but what kind of data do you want to see? So the author of the script gave me some options. In this particular case, I'm just going to put in an MRP controller. And right now, it's going to extract data from SAP. It's going to extract the first uh, 25 records associated with MRP controller 002. OK? So here's our data. So what am I going to do next? Well, you know, I have these materials, and I want to make some changes to them. So I'm going to make a few changes so you can see how fast and efficiently you can make changes to SAP records. I'm going to make a few changes to our gross weights, and then I'm going to plant a couple of errors, okay? So that you can see how we manage errors, right? And a couple of other things here. Look at, look at, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. Then I'm going to switch to transaction. Now, transaction allows you to send data into, SA, into SAP. Query extracts it, transaction sends it back in, okay? So a couple of features here, you can validate, so you can basically simulate uh, before posting. We also have a backup feature that backs up the data every time you make a change, okay? And you can also look at SAP values just like you would using the uh, F4 button in SAP, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, okay? And it's gonna ask me to log into SAP. SAP security is key here, okay? checking my user authorization, and now it's just basically processing my changes, okay? So as you can see, if I made a change, uh, you get your message back from SAP if I didn't make a change. So we basically just processed 23 records, 23 SAP records in 11 seconds, okay? So now let me show you how to fix errors, okay? So I see, oh, okay, I have the wrong unit of measure here. I'm gonna go ahead and fix them, right? So I'm gonna hit here. I'm going to put the right, the correct information, okay? I'm going to save, and then I'm going to go ahead and tell uh, Windshadow, please run on errors only. Don't process the whole batch job, just the errors. So I'm going to hit run, okay? And there are my two record changes. So that's a quick teaser. Windshot allows you to, um, you know, use SAP uh, through uh, Excel or uh, Forms uh, interface uh, very easily and efficiently.